I have poured all ready and um, I mashed out my whites and I did a pour of yellow and red poured it off and then I did blue and red at the corners and then after it dried I went ahead and I masked out my next light value so I will actually do pour number two right now using my colors I'm using Oriolan as my yellow anthraquinoid red as my red and endothrome blue as my blue what I use to mask with is I use a ruling pin it's an architectural drafting pin but it has a wonderful point and I can make it thin or thick I also use a long thin inexpensive synthetic brush and I'll use another synthetic brush for larger areas and this is a scotch bright sponge that I have cut up and that's what I use for asphalt and foliage and things. I've mixed up my three colors into liquid form. The first thing I am going to do is wet my paper with water. Make sure it's good and soaking because it's a nice warm summer day and it will dry very quickly. I can even do this. I want to make sure I get everything wet. Good and soaked. Okay. All right. All right, I'm first going to start with my yellow. I'm going to put red over here and on this side. quite messy so I use an under the bed box to pour it into. And make sure that gets on there. First off that way and now off that way. Here. Okay, so now I make sure I wipe off all the edges before I do my next pour. Okay, so now I'm going to pour a little bit of red up here and a little bit of blue. I want to keep that blue and that red in the corner. So I tilt it stays over there. Then I wipe it up. Okay, I'm now going to use an eyedropper because there is a bit of palm trees over here and why not let's get some green in. So it's a little bit of yellow. A little bit of blue right there. I don't want it to come into this lovely orange, so I'm actually going to pour it off that way. Just pour it that way a bit. In just slightly and down. and then wipe it up. Now, this is why I had to make it really wet because I do not want this drying while I'm doing this process. If it starts to dry too much, you won't get the flowing of the paint.
Hi, we're ready to do pour number three on this. I've already masked the third time and now I'll pour again. What I have done is I have mixed up my paints so that they are more concentrated than they were the last time. I'm going to go ahead and wet the paper. All right, this time I'm actually going to use an eyedropper to help me do this in certain areas. Take the red. I'm going to pour it off. Wipe it up. Yellow over here. And some blue over here. And that is my dog making all that noise in the background. And now I will wipe it off again along the edge so it doesn't come back into the paint and create mud. So I have to make sure all my edges are wiped off before I pour the rest of the color. Okay, over here I'm not concerned as much about where I put the color because I know I like the red. Maybe I might add a little bit of yellow to it. Start off in the corner here. Back over that corner. Off here. And now I'm going to wipe that up. Now I'm going to add a little bit of blue over here. I like the blue along my edges and in my corner so that my eye focuses on where I want it to focus, which is obviously these people in the area here under the umbrella. I'm going to put a little bit of purple up here. I know there's a bit of shadow up there, so I add some red and just a little bit of blue over here in that window there, maybe up here. And because I want it to run off and not into this area here, I will tilt it back and forth up there. Maybe a little bit forward here just to bring it in some. And then back. Let's bring it in just a little bit more. There we go. That's great. And then back. Okay. Let's wipe it off. Just a little bit of blue across the bottom. This way, in a bit, and back. That's for the street. Let's tilt it in just a little bit more, and back. And now I'll wipe it up, and there we are. Okay, I'm working on the fourth pour. I've gone ahead and masked another level of values, and I'm going to go ahead and pour. What I've done with my paints is actually mix them up so they're more concentrated. So the first thing I do, again, is wet the paper. Again, I want more orange over here, more orange and red. Back. 
All right. <laughs> so now we're going to do some yellow over here again. Just for fun. Let's see what happens. Take my big squirter. Squirt that there. I'm not trying to get it up here too much because I know that's all masked, so I don't care about that. I'm going to squirt some red up here. Let's just do a little bit of blue. Make sure it gets into some of those areas. And I actually would like some yellow in there. If I pour this right, the yellow will not pour into the blue. If I don't, I get a little bit of mud. So I just pour it off that way. Let's pour it this way. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Now let's pour it off that way again. Right up here. Let's get to wipe. A little bit of blue up here. camera will see this. There we go. I like that color. I have masked for my final pour. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wet it again. For my final pour, I've only mixed up red and blue because I'm doing my darks. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop in my red in different places. And my blue. And that's my dog. She wants to play. I hear her chewing on the bone. My dog's name is Twilight. And yes, I have a teenage daughter. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour and mix it. Now this step is not necessary. I like to do it, however. Um, you can just go ahead and paint in the darks if you prefer. And now I will let it dry. Alright, this is what it looks like after it's dry. Now I'm going to put the masking fluid. How I do this is I first start in a corner where there's a larger area of mask. And instead of pulling down, which might rip my paper, I pull up and away. Now what I can do with this a little bit is I can take it and I can rub away the places that I have a harder time bringing up. This is what it looks like after I've removed the masking fluid from it. Now all the mask is off and so here it is. I uh, will go in and I will clean up some lines and fix a few things and then I will be finished.